This week is Golden Glory weekend, and what better video to make than one of the most broken world events to make money consistently and safely on the seas. Farming this world event could earn you millions in combination with the Golden Glory event. So without further ado, let's get in to today's video. Really quick, I just wanted to say a massive thank you to all of you for your constant support. We are currently only 900 subs away from 20,000, which is why in order to celebrate, I am releasing a brand new clothing line. Inspired by the mythical beasts of the sea, choose from any of the three handcrafted designs to pick up your new favorite hoodie or tee. Right now, the first 10 people who place an order using code MYTHIC10 will get themselves 10% off their entire order. So make sure to check it out now. So what is the world event that we are going to be focusing on in today's video? Well, my friends, the skeleton fleet. Not only is it great for reputation, but it is also insane for earning gold when completed efficiently, which I will highlight in this video for you guys. Now hear me out and don't click off the video just yet as I'm going to be giving you some advice to complete these world events in quick succession. For this you're going to want to raise the Reaper's Emissary before setting sail. Not only are you going to be able to sell every piece of loot with an Emissary Grade which earns you a 25 times multiplier on your loot which again on the weekend will be doubled to 5 times the value of your loot. The good thing also about doing skeleton fleets is the main spawn is right next to reaper's hideout so it makes for a quick route of selling your loot. Make sure you grab captaincy and that is it. You do not need to stock up heavily on these as supplies are provided in crates throughout the fight. This method is most efficient as a duo but can be done solo. If you want another person to set sail with, join my Discord, there's over 1,100 members in there ready to join your crew. When you first approach the world event, raise your sails to approximately half and then turn the wheel in any direction very slightly. This actually messes with the AI of the skeleton ships and makes their shots a lot harder and their turns more erratic. Thanks to the changes in Season 9, the Skeleton Fleets are now super, super easy, giving the same amount of loot. A couple things to mention though. Now thanks to Season 9, you are actually given the time in between each ship spawn to get the loot. So every time you sink a ship, head straight there and anchor. Yes, I said anchor and not raise sails. This is because your boat will slowly move away from the loot if you don't and take more time than just anchoring, getting the loot, then raising anchor to keep moving again. Because you are a sloop, you should only get other skeleton sloops in the previous waves before the boss. So when you get a skeleton galleon, you know you're on the final boss. I always recommend sinking the non-boss galleon first to ensure you get every single piece of loot possible. This is the one without the red name above the captain. The boss has a red name when you scope in on the captain of the ship. This is the only wave where you don't get a chance to get the loot. However, I always go for it anyway, seeing as you are a sloop and can very easily tank hits. If you're using the method where your wheel is slightly turned, it should also mess up the AI in this final battle anyway, so the ships will separate. Finally, if you're a duo, you're going to want to send a border to protect lower deck holes on the galleons. If you are a solo, just keep shooting below the waves and try to put lowers in the boats and hit the skeletons off of the repairs. The storm can also sink the ships, which happens way more than you realise. It's just a pain to harpoon the loot, that is all. By the end of the fight, you should now be grade 5 with all of the loot, so head over to Reapers to sell. If you manage to find a rowboat, use that to sell your loot quicker. This whole recording session you're seeing in the background of this video took me literally 30 minutes and that was with fighting two enemy galleons. I actually got the lowest amount of gold you can get during this session, but you can get anywhere between 100,000 in gold and 200,000. It just depends on RNG. 